In actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly. Although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened to you? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebede, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. They picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudodogs. But our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. I'm Can glad to you? see you, young man. You look considerably better. People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the Zone truly is. 
Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be or indeed are completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the Zone. Coexistence. How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the Zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The Zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now? Now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one, so much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. And that's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent a disaster. Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev. The swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission, the biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together, because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. I was collecting bottles one after another and they let me hear. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Uh, truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold. In our base, as you can see, it's a small sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it, and the fewer that do, the better. 
Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev, Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than, well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a trainer, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Cool. He knows what Leave stuff is going on with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. Well, next time you're at the swamps, don't be a stranger. Сталкером. Один другом. Ты Васю помнишь? Ну, того, который каждому рассказывал, как он в лётные три раза поступал. Помню, а чего? Так он это, на днях в трамплин вляпался. Ой, блин, вот так. Сбылась, можно сказать, у человека мечта. Полетел. Анекдот. Пробираются, значит, по улицам Припяти двое сталкеров. Один опытный, другой новичок. Ну, новичок постоянно сверяется с камерой. Need something upgraded for repair? We got enough duct tape to patch the whole sun up if need be. I think Lebedev is looking for you. I reckon you ought to go speak to him. While you do that, I'm gonna fix up a couple of shooters using friggin' scrap as usual. Remember, to be a good shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. Visitor? I'll be right there. You look pretty good. For someone who survived the emission, anyhow. What you really want is to sit by the fireplace at the Bedevs. Drop in next time you're in our neck of the woods. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people. 
and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. I see. How can I help you? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you. Tells me you're a pro at that sort of thing. This is the second outpost. Your We're experience can save We're the lives of Help. many of my... That's enough chit-chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? Great. Get over to the trader and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Trader, a fighter is on his way to you. Issue him with all the equipment he'll need for the mission. Roger that. Hurry, Mark. Again. Glad to see you. At last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. <laughs> 